Ever wondered how to find out how accurate your Pro's Pro Shuttle Express is? Let's make a way to find out. So when it comes to fixing this in place, I'm just going to put it on the workmate. You could use somebody just to hold this end down. I'm going to tie it down. Because when you pull on the other end, there is a tendency for it to fly up in the air. This is just a couple of old boot laces. it down nice and tight and then through here so as I say yes I'm using the workmate but it doesn't really matter what you use you could do it on the floor. Just get somebody to help you hold it down. There we go. So that won't lift up now. We're going to place our new tool in here. That's why we made the groove in it fit into this particular piece here and uh, I've just put that block there just because it'll just keep falling through otherwise so this is where I make a simple thumb knot in a piece of old string just to make a loop double it over but just so it won't slip because we don't want that of course our secret weapon all along has been a travel scale. Then what we're going to do is attach the loop onto here. Put our piece of wood in there. from the travel scale down the slot and place the string in the jaw of the tension device. I've set the tension to 20 pounds as my initial test and I've placed a small piece of aluminium in the rack to stop the head from travelling down as I pull the tension on.
My next test tension is going to be 26 pounds, so I'll adjust it to that. And then set up for 32 pounds. Testing at three different tensions allows me to check that it's linear and to make sure that I can be certain that the poundage that shows on the scale is what is actually being put into the string. This simple tool, made out of wood in my case, combined with a readily available travel scale means that I can test the tension of this Pros Pro machine.